Eh, lawyer Maka. Yes. Uh, very important. Uh, very important. Uh, what is it? Uh, there is a question I would like to ask you. Sorry for disturbing you. Uh, Auntie Amaka, you are a fine girl. Hmm? You are beautiful. In fact, you are educated. You have a good job. Why are you married? What kind of question is this? Uh, because, uh, in fact, uh, all your age mates are all married. Uh, look at that useless, good for nothing girl, Bisola, that lives at the back. It's wedding next Saturday. Eh? One unfortunate boy, Maria. Uh, you see why I'm so uh, concerned about you? If that useless girl. Eh? Can marry. Eh, what is holding you? If there is nothing you can do about it, I can take you to one baba. He will wash your face two times a day, seven days in a week. Hmm? He will do it. In fact, eh, by the time he is done with you, you will see men with dollars and pounds, naira and cobble. Look at how they be walking, crawling, following you. Amaka, will you marry me? Amaka, will you marry me? Mr. Columbus, why are you not dead? Eh? Dead? Why are you still alive? Ha. How can you ask me such questions? Yes, I will ask you that question because men your age, even the ones that are younger, have died. Those that have been so useful to their families died. You remember that young man by the corner? The one that died last week? He was younger than you are, very useful to his family, yet he died, and you're still here. Why are you not dead? Ah, ah, lawyer Amaka, you don't wish me well at all. How can I die? Who will train my children? I see. Next time, learn to mind your business, okay? Out of my sight. Out! Now advise you. Don't be by force. Eh? Come on, advice. You say make I die. Hey. Columbus, you don't suffer. If nobody is my plane will crash. What thing I define for this compound? Don't worry. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Beautiful. You can say that again. Wow. You I love the stones. Exactly. I took my time to select this one. Hand stone though. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is lovely. Thank you. You know, <sighs> weddings are beautiful moments in a woman's life. Especially when it is with the right man. <laughs> of course. Not with some riffraff like that. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. You know what this is, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hey! hey. <laughs> she was so happy. She was so happy. Yes. Yeah. Me, yeah, I cannot spend all the years I spent in school, law school, and um, call to bar and everything to mm -hmm. end up with one riffraff. I cannot. God forbid. God forbid. Oh. Mm. This is nice. Hello? Yeah, Chichi, how are you? No, 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 no. I can't. I'm sorry. I have a workshop today. I'm very busy, extremely busy. You have to come and pick it up. Uh-huh. Yes. You have to come. This is a very busy period for me. I have workshops. I have training. I have seminars going. No, I can't. You have to come and pick it by yourself. 
Yes. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Look at this girl, she wants me to do everything for her. She cannot come and pick her wedding gown. Is that how lazy someone can get? She's lucky to have you do things for she's, her. She's been like that all her life. She graduated this April, met this man, and they're getting married next week. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. That's divine fever. Hmm. My darling, like daddy always mm. says, every woman has her own speck and time. Hmm. That's true. As for me, I want to get married to the most handsome, hmm. caring, hmm. and richest man ever. Only mm. you. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you're there for my cousin's wedding. Of course I will. That is if my tailor doesn't disappoint me. You see these tailors? They will not make heaven. I swear. You know the ones I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The ones that are supposed to give you like this, uh, like this, our glass. like this, uh, but they will give you like this. <laughs> Like this, like this. How? How would they make heaven? Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> Please let me start this. Oh, one but this is me. lovely. Thank I you. love it. Thank you. Thank you. So, so let me put the back in the bag exactly. and not soil it for her. Mm -hmm. Such in a hurry. I told you we have workshop at workplace and I'm the one in charge. Oh, mm -hmm. as usual. <laughs> anyway, it. just take care of yourself, okay? You know these private companies, they have a way of draining one's entire life. So you have to take it easy on yourself. Thank you, I will. But look on the bright side. Very soon, yours truly will be the GM of the company. Hmm. <laughs> so I say congratulations in advance. Thank you. As for me, I love my marketing job mm. because I can do it from home and with my phone. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, you can, please help me tell the housekeeper to pump water. I barely had a bath this morning. You know I don't talk to that man. You have to try. See you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Good morning. Hello, Amaka. <laughs> Good morning. Why didn't you pump water? I barely had the bath. Uh, but it's not my fault, Lord Amaka. How is it not your fault? You people use water too much. How can one person use three buckets of water to bath? Eh? Una me bami water. I mean water now, seven. They use cup. They, they do them small, small. They manage water. Columbus, I don't have your time this morning. Okay, as you can see, I'm in a hurry. It has been agreed that you pump water once in three days at least. Do what you have been told to do and stop giving flimsy excuses. This is the problem I have with you people that refuse to marry. Eh? You don't what have did you to... just say? I said I will pump the water after brushing my teeth. Eh? I, I just woke up. Do you think I didn't hear you right? Or you think I'm stupid? Let this be the last time you will make such a statement around me. Do you hear me? You said you were in a hurry. How is that your business? How? Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can see you don't like your job anymore. Uh, uh, Madam Nube, sorry. And I joke at the joke. Now nah, today, nothing anybody can do to me. This is my brother's house. Eh? I was once a barista before I became a pilot. Not because my, my, my plane, uh, I'm driving crash. That is why I'm a security here. Everybody has his own office. So. I wish this rain the way they do. Yeah, 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 go, go pit them well, well before you come here. That's your mouth. You know, go talk to me again. Don't have respect for your father's age mate. This kind of nonsense with this. Eh? Because, uh, because I, I, I be security here. All this small, small children won't begin to chance me here. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. 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 Yeah, you go, go, you go. You're no fool if I get You go, go, you go. 
Hello, sir. Very well, sir. <laughs> I know. But, sir, you did not make the orders you promised. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Of course, I, I trust you. I trust you, sir. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Till then. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you very much. Yes, you too. Bye. <laughs> Who is this one again? Hello? Who is this? Ah, oh, Mr. Ben. I'm very well. Mm-hmm. You want to see me? What for? It is not business, so what is it for? Yes, because you said you want to meet with me personally, so I'm asking, what for? Ah, uh, Mr. Ben, please, I've heard such stories a thousand times. Mm-hmm. He will have to pay for my taxi and other inconveniences. It's okay. Not a problem. But that will be much later in the day. All right. Bye. Oh. What does he want to see me for? <sighs> Sweetheart. Yes. Here's the list. Four. Things that I need to buy for the house and to cook. Baby, why do you have to throw away the paper like that? Why do you keep coming at me without an explanation as to how you spent the last bulk of cash that I gave to you? I have told you next time you want money, can I see a breakdown of how you spent the monies that I have given in the past? We've had this conversation before, have we not? Account? Yes, I want an account. For how much? For one naira, for one dollar, for a cent, for one cobble. It's money, Patricia. All right? I didn't come this far by being a frivolous spender. I didn't come this far by not accounting for how I spend cash that comes my way. Charles, I am your wife to be. Why do I have to explain the money that you give to me to cook, to make things for you, to buy things for the house? Why? Why do I have to do that? Come my on. dear wife, I have just told you. That I am an accountant and it should reflect in the way that I live my life. You met me this way. This is who I am. If I give you money, I want you to account for it before you ask me for another bulk of cash. That is how it works. Now I ask you, my dear wife-to-be, is that too much to ask? Okay, so what do I do now? Simple. Account for past expenditure and get another bulk of cash. It's simple. It's called accountability. Okay. What do you know? It's not your fault. You don't work. You don't do nothing. You just got off NYSE. So you don't know how hard it is to make money. You go get a job. 
and see how difficult it is and see if you spend your own cash without accounting for it. I think I came this far by throwing money away. Okay. Well, like I said before, I'm an engineer, a civil engineer. I build properties and sell. And also by the grace of God, I'm not really doing bad. <laughs> you already know what I do. Yeah, that, of course. You see, I just want us to get to know each other better. I want to build something serious with you. I mean a serious relationship. Um, listen, Mr. Ben. I have heard these kind of stories a thousand and one times. Hmm? And at the end of the day, it all boils down to one thing. Please, say what you want to say. And I will give you my response. I don't have time for all these your roundabout talks. But Joyce, you know you're you're quite a pretty lady. And I'm very certain you also have a very wonderful personality. I also know, due to your kind of job, you definitely might be having a lot of people, men especially will disturb you. But I'm just asking for a chance to prove to you that I'm not like them. I'm someone different. So what do you want me to do? At least, um, I don't think it would be really nice to say anything further. Let's get somewhere quiet so we can get to know ourselves better. What do you think? I think it is too early to start jumping around town with you. Come on, Joy. Besides, it is getting late. Come on, Joy. I mean, who is talking about jumping around town? I'm just talking about us going to somewhere serene where we can actually have dinner. Rainbow fast foods. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. But please, let's make it snappy.
Hello, sweetheart. Where were you yesterday? At this time? At exactly this time? Where was I? Baby, what is the matter? Patricia, I'm sure you're not suffering from amnesia. I asked a question and I want answers. Who were you with at the time yesterday and where were you? Charles, this your idea of always suspecting every move I make is actually getting on me. Yes. Baby, in this relationship, you really, really have to trust me. Trust you? Pat, trust you? How? How do I get to begin to trust you when you gallivant around town with every man that you can find, kissing and hugging them? You talk about trust with me, Pat. Really? Kiss? Hug? Who? Tonight, Pat, that yesterday and about this time that you were not with some man I like this one, kissing and hugging him, following him to his car and he took you to God knows where to do God knows what and you stand here and talk to me about trust. How? Charles, are you actually monitoring me? I have a job. You hear me? I wasn't following you around. I have a job or someone saw you. When you are in a relationship with someone, you give account for where you go, who you mingle with, because you never know just who is watching. But I will show you something right now. Someone saw you and did a video of you kissing and hugging some guy. You can lie to me, but this would not lie. Go ahead. Without lie to. Yeah, that's it. Who was that man? You were hugging him. You followed him to his car. Where did he take you? What did you do to him? Just stop! Now you stop! This is Mike. Who's Mike? My cousin. The guy that saw me through school. Oh, oh. And I am sure to have actually mentioned him to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a couple, couple of times, yeah. So, tell me, who else did your informant tell you that I was with yesterday? Speak. Who? All right, come. No, 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 who? Tell me who. Sweetheart, communication now. All right? I mean, look at it. You should have just told me that your cousin was in town. Yeah, you constantly talked about him, but you didn't tell me. All right, you, 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 don't, you don't tell me what you do sometimes. And you know, you know how jealous and protective I can get sometimes. You know I love you. Huh? I love you with all my heart. You don't blame me when I get this way. I mean, you didn't tell me your cousin was in town. I mean, I would have invited him to the house and we'll have a big dinner or something. Babe, I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm sorry I came out this way. It's because I love you. All right, please, please, please. Next time, let's talk so we, you know, we avoid mix, mix, mix up like this. You don't touch me. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, baby, I'm sorry. Huh? I love you. My woman, I mean, look at you. Uh, what man won't get jealous? Uh, mm. Baby, please forgive me. Uh, mm, please forgive me. Let's not fight. Uh, I was just jealous. Uh, but some, some spineless nigga was trying to take my woman from me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome. It, it's, good to, it's good to have you. Mm, I was, was actually bored without you. Welcome back. Huh? I'm happy. Huh? I'm sorry, baby. Huh? Let it go. Back. It's just um, trying to finish up a few um, a few things for a client. Uh, you know, I was actually waiting on you to return so that um, we can, you know, have something in the house to eat. You know, I'm thinking today that we should um, do something totally different, you know. Maybe you... Um, Make us some lovely African cuisine. Eh? Like Ofo oh, I got a eh? with a lot of spice and good meat. Eh? You know I'm a traditional man. Eh? <laughs> I'm a like I can nigga. Eh? Eh? Fine girl. Eh? Look at her, look at her. Eh? You got me all jealous and shit. <laughs> uh, I'll come join you later, baby.
You're welcome once again. Thank you. That reminds me. All right. Happy birthday in advance. Oh, Ben. All this for me? Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. This is so beautiful and colorful. Well, I'm happy you like them. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. I think, um... Please add this to your birthday preparations. It's just a token. <laughs> Come on. You called us a token. This is more than enough. It's all right, my dear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I wasn't even expecting any of this. <laughs> it's all right. You're welcome. This is indeed a surprise. And I hope you will invite me to the party. Mm -hmm. He will be the guest of honor. I promise you that. <laughs> This is too much. This is indeed a surprise. Thank you so much. Oh, please pardon my manners. What would you love to eat or drink? Well, it's okay. I think I'm full. You Very full. You don't want anything. I'm Just... okay. I'm okay. All right, then. All right, my dear. Let me take my leave. All right. I'm right behind you. Let me see you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, you can't split it in Yes. <laughs> Don't cry. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'm done. Oh, okay, that was fast. Yeah, I put a uh, much of the food in the freezer for you. Okay, I get it. But what's what's with the bag? Where are you going? Charles, what? I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. What do you mean? Huh? What have I done? Huh? Charles, you don't have a lot of respect for me. Ever since we started this relationship, it's been one accusation or the other. You have the impression that I'm a flecked, like I'm a fool or some girl who can be easily taken to bed by any man at any time. I was just being jealous, baby. When you love someone, you get jealous. You can't hold your feelings back. Look at you, my love. I, I love you. I know I overreact sometimes. I, I know I get too protective, but it's because I, I love you. Charles, that is not love. It's not. I'm sorry. First, you bugged my phone. You listened to my conversations. You follow me everywhere. You even have to send people to, to, to take videos of me. But, but, but babe, we, we, we just talked about that one now and I apologize that you accepted. Why, why, are, you, why are you here coding your bag? Look, I'm uh, sorry. Don't, 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 please, please. Look, we can walk through this, all right? It's a relationship. It, it, it comes with its hurdles. We, we, we'll get through this one. All right, I promise you, we'll, we'll, please. please. Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't continue with this. I'm sorry. You're not serious with this, are you? You're, 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 you're taking off the ring I got you? I'm sorry. Babe, hey, please, please, don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Please. I'm sorry, Charles. But it's over. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Pat? 
but are you are you living for for real? Huh? Just like Tangerino, when you taste it, do you feel the fat inside? Ima kwa na oji kwa muna lava. Ima kwa na oji kwa muna lava. Ima kwa na oji kwa muna lava. Hello, Bob. We need to see him. Yes. It has happened again. Mm. All of these. Mm -hmm. And that cash. With good manners, too. <laughs> he doesn't behave like all those um, local men, those Omona men. This is good, though. This looks so what did you say? He did not propose. Mm. I figured he just likes me. Mm. <laughs> and you like him, too. I beg you, we've seen too many like him before. I know, I can see it in your eyes. See what's in my eyes? There's a spark. <laughs> Look at it. It's the spark of love. See, you're even blushing. Shame. Are you serious? Please, I'm not blushing. Mm. What are you doing? Hey, okay, let me show you this one. This is actually my favorite. Charlie, this is your third separation this year alone. The first girl was too demanding according to you. The second one, like a street girl according to you. And now this. Oh, anyway, this one actually sacked you. So, what exactly do you want? Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. Bob, hmm? do you not see what is happening? Do you not, have you not looked around and see what's going on? You know? Times are changing. Times are times are funny. You know, with marriages these days, you have high failure rates when it comes to marriage. I'm trying to be careful. All right, I'm trying to be careful. Some of my friends have gone ahead to jump into this thing, and now they're out. They've come back here to meet me in the single market. Listen, if I have waited this long, all right, I might as well get it right. Oh yeah. I don't want what you people like to call uh, what is it called again? Avoidable. Avoidable liability. <laughs> <laughs> No, really. Who wants a liability? Oh, yeah? I don't want that. Oh, yeah? How is it even possible that I go to the land of the birds to hunt, then I come back with a ribbon? Hmm. I like that. Do you know how long I've been experienced as a bachelor? Are you? <laughs> oh, you so now. My time. You now want to compete with me, huh? I'm listen, not with you. Listen, no, no, listen, I need to be married. Okay, no, listen, no, listen. No, 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 no. I, I have to say, I'm taking oh, okay, my okay, time okay, okay, to meet okay. a woman who understands oh, fine. the true essence of marriage. Oh, I'm yeah. That I want to remain a perpetual bachelor like you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to you. Okay, you took it off me. Now, now, listen. This whole issue of going to the land of birds and uh, getting raven or whatever. Yes. Sounds beautiful, but that's for you who want to marry. For me, marriage is a no-go area. Oh yes. Oh yes, a real man needs space. Yes. What, what are you talking about? You need your space to do your business. No. To make money. I know. And above all, live freely I like I am doing now. I don't agree with you. Even the Bible tells you that he who finds a wife finds a good place. It says a good wife, oh. oh well, that's uh, why I'm taking so, my. So, so how many? Okay, but that, if that's your standpoint, yeah. Then what about children? Of course, I have children. Yes, I do. You have to. Yes, I have two kids. <laughs> but from two different women. Oh, you have... Not from marriage. You, you have two kids. Yes. Not from marriage. Yes. But from two different women. Yes, I'm fine with that. Bob. And that's, that's a trick to be emulated? <sighs> For me, it's, it's cool, man. Everybody's free. I mean, How do yourself. How do you contribute to this, the lives of these children? How do you contribute? I provide what is required. Everything. Really? I've got the resources, yes. Really? But they stay with their mothers. It is beyond provision, Paul. What about your impute as a father? <laughs> yes. Impute? Yes. Indeed, indeed. What impute for God's sake? As a man, what, what impute is that? 
You have impute. Listen, 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 listen. You have a role to play in the upbringing of these children. Of these children. Le, le, listen, Charlie. Le, le, listen, Charlie. Never you try to compete with a woman over the love of children. Because they keep these children at their apron springs and they use it to blackmail you. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. Uh, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, yeah. when are you present in yeah. the lives of these kids? Warm up to you, on with you, get to love, respect and recognize you as their father, as the first role model they have in this world and look up to you. Good question. Good question. Good when question. Would that happen? Good question. I'll give you the answer. Because you have your time to do business, because you have your time to make money, a rich man is recognized. Your children will strive to, 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 to connect with you anytime, any day. When they hear your name, they quote your name anytime, any day. Hey, I am Bob's son. I am the daughter of Bob. You know him? You know him? That's my father. Bob, if... And when they grow up, man, they come back to you. They look for their fathers. Bob, if... Traditionally, when children grow up, they look for their fathers. And that's my standpoint. Let me tell you something. Tell God me. Protect... God, Paul, let me tell you something. God mm. protect heaven and earth. He did. Okay, and everything beautiful. Yes, yeah, including yeah. me. Including you. Yes. Including you. And the beautiful and women out there. Thank you. Who must stay and on their own. It is not beyond God to make these children grow from trees. God decided to pass these kids through us so that we can guide them. Not just guide them, but guide them aright. So if you are not present in the lives of your children, how will these kids live a life that would make you proud as a parent. What if, what, if, what if they begin to pick up traits from people around them, like 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 domestic workers in the house, like your friends, that people that stop by to keep your your baby mama company, and all those nasty traits? How would you feel, baby mama company? Let me ask you: Did you see anywhere in the Bible where a man was breastfeeding a child? I'm not talking about. No, no did you see that anywhere in the Bible? Ha! Look, it's useless having this conversation with you. It is what? It is Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to what? It is a good ball. The devil has bought your mind. No, 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 no. I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. How are you on the right track? Bob, you are 56 years old and you have refused to get me. And I don't want to be like you. You're getting closer, man. You're getting closer, I tell you. You're getting closer. You don't suck the girl. You just suck one guy yesterday. And you're come, come, come back here. Come back here, you fool. This is good, you're tight. <laughs> this is great. You see, um, the power of Titan is the power of multiplication. <laughs> the more you give, the more you receive in multiples. A lot of people who do not understand this very simple principle, a spiritual principle, they wallow in poverty all their life. But somehow, you understood it and you are performing it. Just like what the Bible confirms in Malachi 3.10. It says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And watch if I, the Lord, would not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing unto you, that you may not have room enough to contain. <laughs> Daddy, God has been so faithful. Amen. Of course, I give thanks to God for your life. Considering where you are coming from and where you are now, God has been indeed faithful. Daddy, I give God all the glory. Amen. And of course, with my prayers, you have no other choice but to go higher and higher. Amen. Higher. Amen. 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 Daddy. There is something else I will want to discuss with you. Okay, well, go ahead. I... A man is in love with me. As a matter of fact, he's proposed to me and I said yes. But I told him I would love to seek the face of God first concerning his proposal. That's good news. Sister Joy, um, this man in question, do you love him too? <laughs> yes, Daddy. I love him a lot. Besides, he's been wonderful. 
He's a nice man. Mm, love is a beautiful thing, but God is the ultimate. I know. Good. So, this man, is he born again? I mean, what church does he attend? Um, Daddy, in all honesty, I, I haven't discussed that with him. That's bad. Really bad. As a child of God, that should be the first thing you must determine. Whoever comes to you must know their spiritual status. Must. Um, I promise you, Daddy, once I leave here, I will do that right away and get back to you. Well, good enough, but I don't think you should bother yourself now. Since I know now, just uh, bring him to me, let me see him. He, he wants me to bring him here. Exactly. Or don't you think I deserve to know who wants to take away one of my flock? Uh, yes, yes, of course, yes. Okay, then, um, just uh, try as much as possible to bring him. Let me see him. I'll just do the assessment myself. That's more direct. Okay, Daddy. I'll have to leave now. All right. Bless you. May the Lord go with you. Amen. <laughs> you don't want anything to... I'm fine, Daddy, not to worry. I'll be right back. All right. God bless you. Amen. Mama, we have gone through this over and over and over again. And what has changed? Tell me, what has changed? I will get married when the time comes. When will the time be? Hmm? When will the time be? Mama, I have suffered. I'm a lawyer. I've spent time and money to take care of myself and to be the woman I am today. I cannot end up with any riffraff. Nobody is going to put me in their house to stomp over me all in the name of marriage. My pastor says that delay is not denial. That every woman... Come on, will you shut up your mouth? Okay. That your new church is part of the problem you have. Yes. I don't know what they tell you people in that church that blinds your eyes to reality of life. What is it? What we're saying has nothing to do with church. As a matter of fact, my pastor is a gifted man of God. He has God's special hand of anointing over his life. There's nothing that he has said or prophesied that has not come to pass. So, if other suitors are refreshed, according to you and your pastor, so what about your fellow lawyers? Are they not getting married? Talk to me! Lawyers rarely marry themselves. If we Oh, yeah, I'm no good. Oh, yeah, I'm not good. That's what I have been telling you. Eh? Argument upon argument. That is it. How can they stay together when no one, no one is ready to listen to the other? Tell me. Mama, you're just talking as if lawyers... It's not, it's not like that. Lawyers don't just do things blindly. They're learned people. They don't take things based on face value. They have to do proper interrogation. We are saying the same thing. We are saying the same thing. How can you live peacefully with your partner when you question whatever thing he does? Mama, you're talking as if lawyers do not have peaceful marriages. They do. As a matter of fact, the knowledge of the law keeps them in check. Nobody wants to contravene the law. Mm. Uh, let me go and sleep. Because I can see that my mission here has failed. Good night. I'm a 
Me pass you at go. Wait him be that one. Boy, no complete. You say wait him. Because I don't give you slap, idiot. You won't carry me pass you at the go. Useless man. Yes. Hello. Hello? Who's this? It's me, Linda. Hey, 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 hold on a second. Where did you get my number from? Uh-uh. Oga, I was with you last night. Yes, how did you get my number? Uh-uh. Oga, leave that side. Okay, what do you... What do you want? You didn't even call to know how I'm doing, Oga. It's not fair. Uh, listen, hear me and hear me now. Don't call my phone again. Do you hear me? Anyways, that's not why I called you. When I was going home, some men attacked me. They took all the money you gave to me. The whole money. They didn't leave anything with me. Do not call this number again. I have nothing to do with you. I have no ties with you. Stop calling me. Don't, don't try it. Ah, uh, hello? 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 This man is Chris. No reason me play me. Teach me this. Shit. Um, Mama, who did this house? This old woman said. Mama, who did this house? Say a very big thank you for saving me the stress of getting a taxi and you know all of that. Well, you know, if not for the abuse in the job of my work, mm -hmm. now I wouldn't mind taking you to work and back every day. Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right, uh, that reminds me. Um, how is it tomorrow going to be like? You've got any serious engagement? Mm. Not at all. Some few house chores and sleep all day. All right then. I'd like you to accompany me somewhere. Where? You know, there's this um, project I'm overseeing at Aja. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to join me. I don't know anything about constructions. And I, and I know. You know, your presence alone can be a good source of inspiration. Hmm. All right, that's fine, but on one condition. What would that be? That we will both see a movie together at the cinema. There is this blockbuster Nollywood movie I want us to see. Hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. But you know I'm not the film person. Hmm. Anyway, it's okay. I can compromise for you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome, darling. So it's a deal then? Yes, a deal. Let me go in and fresh, you know, I am knackered. I understand. All right, see ya. Bye. I love you. I love it. <laughs> Bye, darling. Now get into the car. After you move no. to your house. Get into the car. You first. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Love you too. Just like that. You know what you I don't agree with you. How can you say my married with Look. See, Charlie, Ch Ch Charlie, you just like to act. It is a generally known I fact. I'm telling you for sure that married women cheat more on their husbands. Bob, otherwise. you cannot discourage me from getting married. All right? I was brought up to believe that at some point in my life I have to get married. Charlie. Don't, no, don't corrupt my mind. I'm not, I'm not blackmailing you. No, no. Why can't can you tell me <laughs> that I shouldn't bother getting married, that married women cheat more than men? My brother, when we know that men cheat more than women. Oh, no. No, no. But well, that's the truth. And I can prove it to you that women cheat more on their husbands than otherwise. You don't have facts. Listen, listen. Bob, listen, you don't have listen, facts. Listen, Jelly. I'm not saying nobody should get married. That's not the point. But that's, that's what you're but preaching indirect, saying, indirectly. Saying, if you are a jealous guy like I am, like I am sure you are also, then there's no point killing yourself with marriage. No. All you need to do is get yourself some children, and some women and move on with your life. That's Th my point. These are unproven hypotheses. Bob, you don't have facts. If you have facts, you know, let me know. Prove it. But if you cannot prove it, then they remain assumptions. Bob you know? does not work on assumptions. Well, you're drilling on assumptions. Like, how can you tell? And if you insist, I will prove it to you. Prove it to me. I will prove it to Bob, you. Bob, prove it to me. You bet me. What will you do? All right. All right. Just, 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 just hold on. Just hold on. Why are you pulling out your phone? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> just hold on. Bob, you're a drama king, honestly. What? <laughs> Who are you calling? Uh, hello. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, how are you? Uh, no, no, no. You are not fine. Uh -uh. I say you are not fine. <laughs> uh, see, eh? If you have an idea of what's going on around me right now, you will stop being fine. You want to know, eh? You want to know what's going on? You really, 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 really want to know, eh? Okay, just hold on. Let's take it this way. You are aware that I know your wife, but she does not know me, right? Good. Now, what did I tell you that that your dear wife 
is right here before me in the same bar where I'm having a good time with my friend that she's also having a good time with uh, another man. I should repeat myself. I am saying that your wife right now is in the same bar where I'm cleaning off with my friend. That's what I said. You want to come? Yeah, yeah. The new bar at Old Road, yes. Hurry, oh, hurry, hurry. She wants to run away. Uh, take a music, don't go kill yourself because of woman. Uh, uh, take a music, bro. Take a music. Eh? Hello? Yeah, Mr. Paulson, it's me. How are you? Uh, okay, I'm uh, waiting for you. No, 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 no. no. It's just a little uh, uh, continuance, so I just have to, you know. <laughs> Proven beyond all. Reasonable doubts. What? <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> Magic. Magic. They were all married women. Probably with kids. They abandoned their house, their children, and they're flexing with men. All over the place. No, but, 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 Bob, how do you know these things? Be a gentleman, get me a bottle of champagne here. How do you know these things? That's experience, man. Experience. Why are you so evil? <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. Come on, go on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey! Come on, go! See this one, one, one head. I, I, I even shall say this city walk. 